It's a long road. A lot of times I thought, you know, I, I questioned would I make it. Um, you know, I had to make a lot of tough decisions in life early on. The day finally came, December 10th, and uh, it was just a great feeling. It was a fight that people loved. Everyone was on the edge of the seats, and it was a fight that could have been one of the best fights of the year. The Mont put on a great fight. He boxed out of his skin, maybe for his home fans. He knew he had to do that, and, you know, don't get me wrong, it was a close fight, but I still believe I won the fight, and that's what hurts more when you know you won the fight and you don't get the decision. And knowing that, you know, it was going to be hard for me to win a fight in someone's backyard. I think it was a really close fight. I was just hoping, you know, at the end of the day that it was going to raise my hand and, and then I call me, you know, announce me as the new champion. It was taking a long time, so I was kind of nervous. What lost me the fight was the, the points in the last round taken off me. With him taking them points, I think it was justified. Him pushing off with those elbows, people don't know I had a fracture on my eye. It wasn't because he was punching me. It's because he was elbowing. Losing the world titles and upsetting all your fans who flew all the way from UK to see me fight, I mean, you know, for them as well, you know, I felt, I felt so bad. I have no doubt I won the first fight. But some people, I think he won. So there's still some doubt there, that who's the better fighter. Seeing people, they still see me and call me champ. They believe I won the last fight. But it was just so much commotion went on outside the ring, people being there, sat ringside who should not have been there. I was a little upset at first. I'm not gonna lie, even, you know, with the, the mystery man. There should be no one sat with the commission talking about scorecards or hand, handling the scorecard. It does look a little bit dodgy. When, it, when he first brought it up, I was like, you know, what, what's going on? Because he wasn't supposed to be there, you know? And I, and I just wanted to know because I'm a fair fighter, I'm a fair person. But, you know, once everything unfolded and he had nothing to do with my victory, you know, I was like, okay. You know, now I'm gonna put it all behind me. It's the fans who asked for this fight more than I did. I don't feel as though I have anything to prove to Khan. I just like to please the fans, really. They really wanted the rematch, so I'm going to give it to them. You know, I wanted it straight away, to be honest with you. Um, but Peterson and his team just seemed to me they didn't want the rematch so quickly. Khan still haven't accepted the fact that he lost and that I'm the champ now. To me, maybe they didn't want to sign it at first because they knew they lost the first time and they didn't want to lose in world titles. Show me some respect. You don't demand things as you did the first time. I'm giving you a rematch to regain your titles. It's not the opposite way around. Look, you need to humble yourself and, and, and accept the loss. I'm glad he's taking this fight. And, you know, this is a fight that's going to settle the scores. When you win things, you never look at your mistakes, but it's only when you lose, you look at all your mistakes and you, know, you want to become a better fighter. So that hunger's come back in me. You will see a new Amir Khan and a different Amir Khan in this next fight. As long as I'm treated fairly, I will win the titles back. May 19th, I'll, I'll get the respect that I deserve.